hello everyone if you remember in this router in the r1 we assign this ip address okay this is the router r1 and we configure this ip address to this interface and this is a window 11 we are using double click this to open the window 11 in the evng and you will have this type of interface click ok and then after that you will have this type of window so window 11 is opening here so this way we can open the window 11 if you want to open the window 11 first you know how we connect in our previous video we connect this pc after that right click start and double click it will open and it will take time to open here okay so in this video what we are learning how we can power on the window 11 just right click and start and you can see it is loading now you will have the icon window 11 icon you can see here device is getting ready if you want i can move this topology down like this you can select and move this topology down and i can keep window 11 this up or i will move this down little down and window 11 will be here so see here window 11 is ready here a default password you need to remember test capital t and remaining letter is small test 123 you need to type see like this this is a password we have in the image this image and press enter it will open so window 11 is opening this is a topology which we are using why i keep this uh, above and this below means when you are seeing this shot this will come down and you will have some more option appearing here the link and affiliation all that so you cannot see this properly that's why cli i move up and the topology i move down anyhow this is a window 11 it will take time and it will boot up after that what you can do see here it boot up you can see here you can see the time and date is showing here in the window 11 still it is booting up you can see this is a window 11 i am using here now in our next shot we are going to learn how we can assign the ip address to the window 11 and then how we can do the telnet from window 11 to this router how we can do the telnet because already in our previous class we configure the telnet to this router 